Hey guys, it's Krista Marie, and this is going to be my commentary on the family Chantel. So I'm going to play a little bit of the beginning of this, and then you'll hear what I have to say. Pedro, and you also, you, you, Jonathan. Today's the day that I'm going to meet my brother for the first time. Fue algo que sorpresa que encontraste que tu papá tiene una familia por ahí. ¿Y cómo cómo se enteraron? Una carta de su mamá. That's not the mean that my mom try to meet my father how the relationship. I'm freaking happy. I need to go to my mom and say, mm -hmm. I'll put a to her for real. No, no, no. This is kind of something I want to talk oh, about. Oh, and here. So, like, so here we have Winter. Um, I'm sorry, not Winter. River with the girlfriend that has the baby and the family. And he seemed to not understand where she's coming from. So let's just hear this. You're always gonna be like needing more from me. And like right now I don't have more to give. I'm not in a place where I can like be in a relationship. I, I don't know, I, I felt like I was caught off guard a little bit. But she probably just doesn't like me to... Okay. Now obviously he's immature. She probably just didn't like me. Um, it's a shame because I really thought that River was like one of the most normal one out of all of them. Um, yeah, so. And as far as Pedro is concerned, okay. Now, he wants to go apologize to his mother. I don't give a shit what he thinks she did right. It is obvious that his father was paying her for sex. And that's it. And I feel really bad for him because it does explain a lot of um, his behavior. Because now, if you watch the episode, it's like he's almost a little immature. And I feel kind of bad for him because, um, you know, he kind of like asks for proof that his mom wrote this letter 20-some years ago. Like, he, he needs to prove that she's not a piece of shit. Um, so, yeah. Let's just see what else we got over here. As much as I like to ignore us, and that's fine. That's fine. I can't do this anymore. You don't feel like she put you in a here bad position by having a relationship with a married man? Mm -hmm. you have empathy. Maybe your mother should have a little more empathy you for think? you, her son, who grew up without a father. No, I don't. I don't have time for deal with you and the post. I guess I'll leave. I need somebody with me, and right now I feel that she's not with me. Finally, I got my dad number for You know what, what that feels like? I felt so bad for him. When, um, he was just so excited, like, I guess, to meet his father, and then he's so excited to apologize to his mother, but we know what happens. So, let's just go on from there. So, um, basically, I want to know if Chantel and Pedro are still paying for these assholes' life. The assholes meaning his mother and his sister. Because if you remember what happened in the end, well, um, actually from day one, they've hated Chantel. And they expected money from her from day one and Pedro. Now, he literally affords their life. So let's just hear what these assholes do now. And, uh, and she never the same. How are you today? Uh, now, here's Karen actually being like a real mother to him. So like what we're witnessing basically is him finally realizing how crazy and, and outrageously stupid his family is. And he's gaining those two brothers that were extremely nice to him. And we have crazy Karen here. Am I confused? Uh, why are you confused? So much okay. of like been going on right now in my life and then... Mm -hmm. Like, well, Pedro, I want to apologize to you for not being a good listener when you were trying to explain to me everything that you had learned about your father and your brothers. From the bottom of my heart, I'm okay. sorry for that. I'll stop here. Um, <laughs> let's also not forget that Chantel spent 10 years in nursing school. I thought she was going to be a doctor. That's what I thought she was doing. Okay, so now what comes next is the crazy ass sister who thinks that it's cool to run up in there and say that Pedro slept with Karima or whoever 
the hell that stupid whore's name is. Like, they're really going to believe this bitch. And then she proceeds to, like, throw glass and throw a big fit and tell them that they're pieces of shit and all that crap. And I want to know if they're still paying for their fucking life. I know I shouldn't be cursing, but my God, these people are so delusional. I should probably fast forward a little bit. So, you know, like my whole point is, you know, all these years that we've been watching these people, um, finally we get to see Pedro have some revelation, thank God. He realizes, I don't know how the sister running in there acting like a crazy nut is what made him actually finally believe his wife, which I felt really bad about that he said that to her, that, you know, oh, my sister really must have called you crazy. And that's what I mean. Like, I don't really want to say it's immaturity. Maybe it's cultural. But um, for him to, like, make those decisions off of one action, it's just kind of crazy to me. But I'm just happy to see that Pedro has finally realized that his family were using him to use her. But to treat them like that, <laughs> that you know, if they're, they're paying for their life, I can't even understand. But... The Family Chantel is one of those shows that I swore to God I was going to be done with after his family was on there because they're all absolutely nuts. And Winter, wow, jaw. I don't understand what happened there. I thought I said that, like, River was the normal one, but I kind of think I thought that Winter was too. So maybe Winter is, I don't know, maybe Winter is, is the, is, I don't know. Maybe they're all just nuts. Who knows? But I definitely don't think that these people um, are doing this for TV. I really do think that Chantel, the family Chantel, is just nuts. And his family is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Oh, and the boyfriend from New York. So her reasoning for trying to hurt her brother is because Pedro went after her stupid boyfriend in New York. I don't even understand that either because the mom seems to be a man-hater, obviously. She wants so much to have money and status that she but she's killing the relationships that her children have so like this man hating whore yes pedro's mom you're a man hating whore who tried to pawn her son off and thank god he fell in love with chantal and i hope to god that he's not paying for your life any longer feel free to discuss this with me because um yeah i get a little heated with this one and i think we're gonna do the siblings living next because <laughs> I have some tea with these assholes. But um, thanks for bearing with me. I really like to do this live because my energy sucks um, when I'm doing this by myself. Um, yeah, so the family Chantal, I hope is no longer after this. Um, yeah, poor River, just a little immature. I mean, come on, the woman has a house, a child, a job, and he was all upset because he wasn't a priority and he just didn't like her. Or she just didn't like him. Oh, also the song that he wrote her. Ooh. I don't know if you saw that scene. That was so awkward. Okay, guys. Uh, I will see you later.